what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 NECA figures of 2021. Now I must admit I was thinking about like not doing this list because it was taking so long because it was like so many figures that were released last year that I couldn't get my hands on and it's kind of happened because of like the uh, COVID-19 or the coronavirus situation that was going on. That's why I was having trouble getting like some of the figures and some of the figures are still like that. It's hard like it's hard to get them. You can't like get access to them. So that's no reason why it took so long, but I decided to go ahead and still do that because it was like a lot of figures that NECA did release. Because it was actually more than 10, you know, just kind of you got to be choosy and picky about it. And like I was saying, like with previous one, like videos, like top 10 videos that I did, some of them I'm just going to put together. It's like it was like a franchise or something like that. The Ninja Turtles, I know these were like separate figures that were released at different times, but being that they were the same franchise, I was just put them together. I know it seems like that's cheating too, but you know, I just decided to do it that way just to make sure that particular figure that I thought was still pretty good get on the list. But anyway, this would be like my top 10 NECA figures of uh, 2021. Alright. Now, number 10 on my list is the NECA, the Thing Ultimate McCready, and the uh, Station Survival figures. Now, these figures I believe should be higher on my list. But I just decided to like put them down. I know that NECA has more of these like on the way, like based on the actual like thing itself. So I'm definitely excited about that. But I do be that like the likeness to Kurt Russell could have been better on these. But these were still awesome figures, and I do be these should have been like higher on my list. But there are just like other figures that were released from NECA that I thought was just like you know like much better, or I was just more uh, a, a fan of. I guess you could say <laughs> you could say. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think these would be uh these are like number ten on my list, and this is the NECA. The ultimate, well, the neck of the thing, ultimate McCready and the uh, station survival McCready figures. Her. Now, number nine on my list is the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie Shadow Pack 2 pack set, which has a uh, Hamato Yoshi and a Rokusaki. Now, I also included the, uh, the April O'Neil figure too, as well. You know, that was separate, that was like a separate standalone figure. I just wanted to make sure that I got the uh, April O'Neil figure here too as well and I think these figures are awesome. The only one I think kind of has like problems like uh, April O'Neil like she kind of she stands on and they do give her a stand to stand on but that's the only thing I think is kind of wrong with that and I know like everybody was kind of complaining about her, how you can see her knees and so on but I think the likeness to Judith Home was pretty good on this figure and the likeness to like uh, these two as well like for uh, uh, Hamato Yoshi and Oroku Sok, I think the likeness on them look pretty good too as well so yeah, these are number 9 on my list and these are the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie Shadow Warriors 2 pack and uh, the April O'Neil figure. And up next on my list number 8 is the uh, NECA Halloween 2 Ultimate Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis figures. Now these definitely should have been higher but the Michael Myers figure right here, it has like an updated scope and I do believe this is like the better of the uh, Ultimate Michael Myers based on Halloween 2 from NECA, I think this is like a better face sculpt. But like, he just doesn't like really stand or uh, <laughs> even like on the stand I have trouble getting him to stand. But the Dr. Loomis figure, now alone, this figure was alone, like an Ultimate Dr. Loomis, this could have quite possibly been my figure of the year. It would have been very, very close to the top. This like the Dr. Loomis figure itself, it really does look like Dr. I mean, uh, Donald Pleasant. Like the likeness to uh, Donald Pleasant is awesome on this figure from my opinion. Even like the sculpting you can change his look too as well. So that's why I say this would have definitely been higher if it was definitely just uh, Dr. Loomis. He would have been much higher on this list. So yeah, uh, the Halloween 2 pack of uh, Ultimate Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis. This is number 8 on my list. And number 7 on my list is the NECA Ultimate Frankenstein figure. Now this figure is awesome and it really does like Boris Karloff, like the likeness to him and he did have like a nice amount of like accessories too. But I do believe they did a good job like on this figure, like, the likeness, like the way his body looks and proportions and everything, it really does look like how you look with Frankenstein's monster, like it does look in that particular film. So yeah, uh, I think this is an amazing figure, this is awesome. And this is a uh, issue, even this I believe should have been higher on my list, but there's just like other figures I just really like liked it more or whatever, you know. So yeah, I'm putting this at number 7 on my list. And this is the NECA Ultimate Frankenstein figure. Number 6 on my list is the NECA Evil Dead 2 Ultimate Ash figure. Now I was kind of hesitant about putting this on my list because this was basically just like a reissue. I think NECA kind of did, kind of updated it a little bit somewhat. But I think this was still just like a reissue. That's why I wasn't too big on actually putting it on my list. So yeah, I'm putting like a... 
the NECA Ultimate Evil Dead 2 well, Evil Dead 2 Ultimate Ash figure at number 6 on my list. This is definitely an awesome figure. I think the likeness to Bruce Campbell is uh, pretty good too on this figure as well. So yeah, I'm putting this at uh, number 6 on my list. The NECA Evil Dead 2 Ultimate Ash figure. Okay, at number 5 on my list, I know this might surprise some people, <laughs> is the uh, NECA Back to the Future Part 2 Ultimate uh, Doc Brown figure. Now nah, this figure is definitely amazing. Like you get like an alternate head sculpt, and again, just like with the previous Back to the Future uh, Doc Brown figure from NECA, based on the first one, he has like a much better uh like light. He has like a good likeness to uh, Christopher Lord. It really does look how Christopher Lord looks. I think that is still like one of the best uh NECA face sculpts, like with a likeness like actor that NECA has ever done. So yeah, I was thinking about putting this one higher, but there are still like other figures, you know, that I just thought was like much like better or whatever. Or like I said, I was just like a much like better, bigger fan of. But anyway, uh, this right here is like number uh, five on my top ten uh, NECA list of 2021. And number four on my list is the uh, NECA Batman 1989 and uh, Batman the Animated Series and uh, Batman Arkham City uh, uh, prop replicas. Now I think these are so cool. These could have even taken my, my number one spot, but it was just like figures that really, you know, that really kind of stood out. And I know that's what Nekla uh, mostly are, like it's like, like toys, you know, not really props and stuff. So yeah, I think these are some cool prop replicas. Like this is the Nightwing at Scrimmel Stick Rail, as, as you can see, how which lights up too, <laughs> as well. So even vibrates, as you can see, this is very cool. It also even like a stands too, like you can make it shoot out like that, as you can see. So that was pretty cool. Then you close it back up. <laughs> and of course, you know, you can cut this light off too as well. Then you have like the Batman 1989 grapple right here too as well. This was cool. It even shoots off. Even the uh, 1989 Batarang right there too as well, which you can see on the stand. Then you also have like this uh, Batman animated series prop replica too as well. So I, and there are supposed to be more, and I think some were canceled. Like the Mr. Freeze gun was canceled, I believe. But yeah, uh, I think this, these were awesome and superb, and I have this number four on my list of uh, top ten NECA figures of the year. And number three on my list <laughs> is the uh, NECA Halloween Kills Ultimate Michael Myers figure. This is an amazing figure, and I do believe this is like one of my best figures from NECA. I like the accessories that he had, they were pretty cool and awesome. And this could have possibly been like kind of, but actually the list is almost like through now. But this one is even the kind of one of the ones I thought could have been like a little higher, but it, it was it wouldn't have been like my number one figure. But I think it was still like a cool and awesome figure, and I do believe this is probably one of their better uh, Michael Myers figures too as well. So this is the NECA Halloween Kills Ultimate Michael Myers figure, and this is number three on my list. <laughs> Coming at number two on my list, and I must admit I wanted this to be my like my well, I kind of was there. My top favorite figure of the year, but it was just a number I thought was just like better. And this is the uh, NECA Friday the 13th Part 7, where well, you can say Ultimate Part 7, Jason Voorhees figure. This figure is amazing and awesome. It really does look how like Jason looks, you know, like on Part 7. Like the like, because you know, it was Kane Harder that was playing him at the time. And he does have like some cool accessories as usual, like with like the uh, Jason figures from uh, NECA. Yeah, they really did a good job on this right here. I think it's really uh this was easy uh if not the best figure of the year from NECA. As far as the figures that I had got or collectibles that I had got, this it was definitely one of the like, very top figures. So yeah I would definitely uh recommend these, you know, so this is like number two on my list and this is the NECA Friday the thirteenth part seven or you could say uh ultimate part seven Jason Voorhees figure and this is number two on my list and it was quite almost quite possible like it could have been number one her and number one on my list is the NECA Jaws Retro Cloth Quint figure or you can call it Shark Attack I think they're calling it too like Quint figure this figure is awesome and I know NECA is mostly like a uh, plastic based like that's what they really do most is plastic based figures that's why I kind of was hesitant about giving this number one if it wouldn't have been one it would have been two <laughs> But I just went ahead and decided to get this like the number one figure of the year from NECA. I think this figure is like amazing. Like the likeness to uh, Robert Shaw on this figure is just uh, awesome for my opinion. And I like how NECA did like his clothes too as well. 
it's really cool and he has like a nice amount of accessories and some cool accessories too as well and to top it off you know I know NECA is supposed to be still doing like the uh the Jaws or Bruce the Shark that particular uh, collectible figure is supposed to be on the way and I know it's supposed to be large but I know they're taking like a long time to get to it but yeah I still think this was like a uh, the best figure of the year from my opinion from NECA I was kind of hesitant about doing it because it isn't like a plastic based figure like that's what NECA mostly do but and this is like a retro cloth figure with like like clothes clothes on like clothing type like realistic type clothes on them. That's why I was kind of hesitant about giving it to that to this particular uh, figure. But yeah, and of course you know this is based on Jaws from 1975, which is one of my all-time favorite films too, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely excited about this, and this is like my number one figure of the year from NECA, and that is my uh, top ten. NECA figures of 2021, I would definitely recommend all these figures. And there are other things that could have I believe, made this list, but I was just was like running out of room. And I just put like the ones I really did like a lot in my top 10 figures. And like I said before, this took so long to do. It's because like the coronavirus, like the COVID-19, I was like delaying a lot of figures. Because once that happened, like you couldn't really get access to figures like we used to be able to. You know, at like the places that had the figures that I want, I couldn't really get access to them. So that's why it was kind of hard getting these and that's why it took so long to do this this because I was kind of hesitant about doing the top 10 list because it was like so late in the year you know but anyway uh that's my top 10 NECA figures of 2021 please leave a comment and uh subscribe too as well <laughs>